Hello, welcome back to Left in the Past. Today I got a good old creepy story for you guys, so I hope y'all enjoy it. I'm going to be walking around the cemetery as I tell y'all this story. But with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and get it started. When I was around the age of 10, I was asleep in my bed one night. When I was woken to my door opening and somebody sitting at the end of my bed. Me being 10, I just thought it was my mom waking me up to ask me something. Until I opened my eyes and seen what looked like a ghostly apparition of a little boy sitting at the end of my bed. It was not my mom, but a child sitting at the end of my bed with no eyes, but instead just deep black empty sockets. He then reached his hand out to me with a little box in it, and I was startled, but I still reached my hand out. Then he pulled his hand back, so then I reached my hand out again and said, hey, give that to me. Then I blinked and reopened my eyes, and the little boy was gone. He was just nowhere to be seen. But I was still able to see the impression of where he was sitting on my bed. Fast forward five years, I had a girlfriend, and she came over to do some homework with me. And after we finished the homework, she decided to take a nap while she waited for her parents to get there to pick her up. When they arrived, I tried waking her up, so I shook her a little bit. Then she opened her eyes suddenly, like she just had a nightmare, and then she pointed to the top corner of my room near the ceiling. Then she closed her eyes and went right back to sleep. Then I shook her again, saying, hey, wake up, wake up. Then she just fully woke up into conscious, like she didn't even fall asleep. So I then told her what happened, and she just looked terrified. She said, up on that wall. I seen a boy with no eyes in a position sort of like Spider-Man would be and I, I freaked out and I told her the story that happened to me when I was 10. And then fast forward another five years, I was still with the same girlfriend and we had a two year old daughter and we were still in the same house but instead my daughter had my room that I had when I was 10. Everything was perfectly fine and still, until I noticed She's waking up at the same time every single night, and she was talking to somebody. It was either something or someone. I really wasn't sure at that time. And after a while, I noticed she was saying almost the same things and having the same conversations. So one day, I just playfully asked her who she was talking to. She replied, it's a little boy. He's really nice, but he's lost and he's looking for his mommy. She continued having her nightly conversations until we moved and got her own house. Then those nightly conversations and her waking up at the same time just stopped completely. Till this day, I'm not really too sure what or who that little boy was. And I'm not really too sure if I wanna go back to that house and find out. That's the end of this story. I hope y'all guys enjoyed that little creepy creepy story I know it was pretty short but sometimes the short stories are the really really good ones but I'm going to be doing more stories like this in the future to come so if y'all want to see stories like this and also other videos that I normally do then make sure to leave a like on this video and also subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a upload and also comment down below more things that you want to see. But with all that said, thank y'all so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.